Chicken Fighters up against Team Secret, both up near the top of their group. Team Secret, of course, undefeated so far. Opportunities for kills, but none actually being claimed just yet. And now Puppy's kind of stuck down in this bottom lane. And we'll just be farming jungle for a little bit. Now, this Matu alone top. Now, he's the one taking a whack from the Doom. Looking for the Courier. <laughs> one hit away, but first blood spill by Era. Kind of settle the dust in this game. As Puppy TP top. Charlie's still level 5, so no battle trance. And with the Gush Minus Armor adding on to the Blightstone, the right clicks, they are potent from Team Secret, but a good little cut through the Sprout. Uh, focus down with a Fisher and another Gush. Yapsaw's here to try and save the day and gather them a kill, but in comes Suneko. Nuke damage galore. Oracle finds the kill, disarms up the Ursa. Chase is still on as Charlie TPs out. Suneko giving him a heal on his way out, and they'll get the kill on the Oracle as Saberlight TPs ready. top. In comes Lena. Hello, Supreme with a Doom forward. Life Striker rate dodge, though. Very fast little teddy bear. Movement speed, what are we? 384 over on the Ursa Warrior. Supreme held out with a sprout, but they've got the Light Striker A and that Infernal Blade level 3 now. Now Chicken Fighters will put the pressure on the bottom lane. Yapsor is level 4 using the Courier. Is there a Tome for him? Yes, there is, but it's only... Great Fisher. Walking Courier. Nisha doomed up now, though. He's walked into the midst of this. Purifying Flames and the Doom will secure him up, and Yapzor gonna get dragged back into the waiting arms of Saberlight. Oh, one more enchant totem, he can get a whack towards Charlie potentially. Trying to line up another Fisher, but the five man strong rotation from Chicken Fighters looking to secure this tier one. Come into fruition, and Zai. Oh, he gets clipped by the plasma field. Scouted out. And a bonus kill here for the Chicken Fighters. It's a massive amount oh, of damage, holy shit! Profit Alti. Oh, Puppy nearly got oh, himself a double kill. kill. I mean, he's 406. Sableite really has been having some spectacular performances as up towards top near the Roche pit. Suneko disarms Ursa, goes for the TP, but nice positioning from Zai with that gush. Secure the kill and swing into action as the big man being pressured. Force the buyback from Oracle. Chicken fighters, they want to contest this as quickly as possible. Puppy has a full mech. Sai, Vlads, and you've mentioned the mom on Matuma Man. Yep, so looking for that Fisher to block them off. A good light strike away in the pit, but there's the mech to heal them all back up to pretty much full. And Matu has the Aegis. Nothing chicken fighters can do here, and they're still walking to the fight. Era, he turns around to try and lift Matuma Man. The enrage going, and the stolen what? A chant totem? Cool. Yep, so shuts him down while Sableye drained of all his damage and the echo slap. Down you go, Supreme, saved up by the go false promise, Ursa. but there's so much damage being pumped into this Lena. Disarm will delay the inevitable here, surely. As the death will finally come to those who deserve it. Suneko now being found. And this is Team Secret, the first big real team fight around that objective. The Roshan being gathered up. Aegis in their hands. They swing the game. Tides equal turned. On to Ursa. Aegis gone. He's got Enrage and Earth Shock. He's going to turn and fight Charlie here. Another Fisher, this time from Yapzor, as the false promise allows Charlie to turn and rip the bear to shreds. Nisha's. Static Link, draining Charlie's damage for sure, but now he's stuck in a precarious position. One versus four, and down he goes. Team Secret bleeding out a couple of kills unnecessarily. On the wave, since they're smoked, to not reveal themselves. Oh, but they see the high ground observer ward placed. The Doom onto the Ursa. Blink stomp there. A Fisher from Yapsor tries to delay the push forward and a Ravage. Hey, catching two into the back. Perfect from Yapsor with a Blink stun. But Supreme's been saved up by the false promise and Charlie comes running on forward. Catching out Yapsor. Zap him down. A Sabler is the first to fall. Yapsor walking out. A Supreme healed back up to full. Kill the Earthshaker off and the dive into the back. Zai is found by Suneko. Supreme four staff forward but misses the LSA. And Zai looks like he might be able to get out with another Blink another Dagger and a Sprout to save them up. Saberlight finishes off Halberd now to try and handle that Ursa Warrior. Or the Razor, in fact. As Lena trying to finish off Shiver's Guard, only a recipe away. The Blink jumps, Saberlight. Catches Matu by the Enrage and turnaround as that Aegis still in his hands means he's pretty happy just going in and balling forward. Catching Supreme, where's the false promise? Sineko trying to get back into range, they doom up the Razor. Matuma Man looking to lose his first life and Charlie turns to fight Puppy. Nature's Prophet, mech up trying to get himself out but... Suneko has that purifying flames to finish him off. The Ravage though, Zai catches all five. Ravage. It's beautiful, but the follow through is lacking. They don't have the gap close on the rest of their heroes. Zai and Nisha both dropping 
and Chicken Fighters, they strike back. Charlie is now active. The Troll Warlord is ready to shred you, and Zai is going to get stomped up by the Sableye Doom, who has been monumental in catching hero after hero, and Suneko getting kills. Purifying Flames allowing him to be 7, 4, and 8. Earthshaker, yeah, he's being slowed up by the Troll Axes, and a fade, but a double kill for Suneko! Full Solar Crest there on Puppy. Who's been yulesed up? Oh, it's Matuba Man in wildly deep, and there's a jump onto the Razor, but the escape is on. Matuba Man does get zapped down within an inch of his life. The Aegis will pop, but he's still got BKB Cheese to fall back on. As Puppy BKB oh, cancelled out by the Bash, he can't TP and he can't escape. Matuba Man still sticking around, and the Ravage again onto five with the Echo Slap from Yapsaw. Gorgeous from Team Secret. The TP reaction now, and the buybacks from Chicken Fighters come through, but I think it might just be over. No, Charlie, he stands his ground. He battles through. The powerful troll has found his way in, and he's going to Get pick off after pick off, so Nako with a double. And Flicker, another tier four item that's a bit. Oh, the jump puppy. He's very tanky, but he still will die. Dead for 80 seconds, no buyback for four minutes. I would go bottom. They tried to go for a mid, it did not work out. Troll, damage being sucked. That's gonna be almost full damage. And yeah. Matuba Man's looking for the backstab. They've got the Doom on Tanisha, the Force Staff out. Gush from Zai, but the Jump Abyssal from Charlie deep into this Radiant base. Doom gives chase. Just go in for the Razor. They know that once they get these buyback heroes, it is probably over for Secret. 110 seconds for the Razor to come back. And Charlie Troll shredding Zai, forcing the Ravage before he dies. Lena's still sticking around here, has pretty much all their spells available as Matuba Man. One versus five, a Blink Echo from Yapsaw. It's good, but it's not good enough. Team Secret lose four heroes the buyback from Zai will do nothing he'll walk into the midst of battle and the chicken fighters will destroy that. that's game gary they're gonna go for tier fours and matumba man will call it after the first couple of items i think ember spirit able to fight much earlier on the troll spectre has a lot of region early on especially if you combine that with someone else having headrest in the laning stage Right now, they're just leaving her alone. They want to grab another the roll. Officer, another miss. Oh, and the TP out, not enough. So, Secret feeling pretty strong in that top lane. Well, Matuma Man, 15 CS down bottom. Not looking too hot. A dive top. Nisha Yamsor kick and roll. In we go with an Ixor there and a TP from Axe. They catch the bristle with a slight chains. And that Inkswell connecting means Nisha's gonna fall here. Surely drops. A dive in from the Supernova Phoenix, though, is beautiful. The Pyramid burning them all alive as Charlie. Oh, the dodges the roll with a slight of face, but he's still stuck in the trees as Zai dives in. Yapsaw kick back across two of them. Charlie alive somehow, That's but it's a, a double for Zai. He's got an urn, but no more fiery spirits and no dive here it means Charlie. Slight chains and walk away. And I kind of expected, and Yapsaw has rolled in for that haste rune. And he'll pay for it with his life. Charlie grabs it, bottle refilled. And they sprint straight down to bottom lane. They want this action to continue. Matuma Man has showed himself. Charlie will be able to find the vision on the Spectre. Nether Ward plopped down by Era, blast him up. They've got a Spectral Haunt to jump away. Top and up to top we go. So the aggression turns. Sableye TPing out. It looks like he's going to be successful. Back to Fountain we go. Radiant Scan. And there's the Axe Call, trying to bring down the tanky Nisha Bristleback, though. As he soul blind, double suck. connecting in with a double suck, the drain out, and Poppy, Yapsil, Zai all falling. Now it chains onto Nisha. Gonna bring the Bristleback down as Chicken Fighters. Beautiful defense on their tier one mid. Faded brooch, arcade, like I think, you know, comparing it to like any of the other tier one and tier two items, there's a lot of tier one items you'd keep over a Philosopher's Stone. But it does feel good when you're behind, trying to catch you up as they get the Will-O-Wisp. Potential supernova combo. Jump in from the Spectre, they're haunting out. onto Seneco. They get the Soulbind onto the Spectre. Bristle back now with a double decrep, but there's no life drain coming. The kill onto Supreme in the back. They're focusing Morphling. Five heroes strong with the rollout. He's turned into Earth Spirit and a blink call. Catches the Bristle back, but the follow-through is lacking. Chicken Fighters, they've got to bail away from this one. Secret have blown their massive teamfight combo. And all they got was a Grimstroke die, uh, death into buyback. Morphling going in. Blink call on console. 
Supreme half HP, smoke from Suneko in the back with Era life draining Sableye to keep him alive, but the Magnetize. Earthspray clearing through the kills and getting the stacks going. A dive forward with Fire Spirits. Team Secret reset. Axe now dead for 30 seconds and Roshan. It's going to go to Secret here. Suneko can't really get in there. Supreme might consider the waveform to try and snipe the Aegis. Era is skirting on the uh, line here. Our chicken fight has given up. Both teams really kind of lurking in the vicinity. Try trying to find an opening for it. Horns up top. Suneko. He's going to get caught here with the Yule Scepter up. Even throwing the Will-O-Wisp down to take out the Grimstroke. He's buying time here for the rest of his squad. Dead for 70, but with buyback, so Roshan still potential here double for Chicken Fighters to contest it, and they jump into the bristle back. They've got the call and the double damage room, but the disarm from Nisha comes out now with a waveform forward. Nisha still being focused by Charlie and Supreme, but it's the tanky bristle back. You can't bring him down just like that. And they've also got the Zai Supernova. Beautiful place. The focus from Supreme, he's got to back away. Charlie being drained out. Matuma Man on a killing spree, and well, they've got the catch. Sans him up, stun and kill, even with the Manta style. Supreme's ball flink down and out, and we're gonna have pretty much a team wipe here, a secret. It really does want that blink call. Yep, so Earth Spirit might be the target they find. There, he's rolled into the Inkswell. Gets a Yule's up, buys himself a little bit of time, but may have been better used on himself as the Dunk comes in and the Soul Bite is error. He is decrept, but under the Will O' Wisp, he's going to get annihilated by the Spectre as Supreme's BKB and a chase into the back line. Sableite hounded by Nisha's Bristle, while Zai still has the Supernova. They've got a disarm under the Morphling. Charlie tries to focus down, but the Sunray from the Supernova blasting out across towards Supreme. And the buyback from Sableite Axe. He's hiding in the trees, waiting for this counter initiation he might have to jump but he's holding waiting and biding his time yours up into the morph and there's the two-man call sableye's in to get the supreme out of there they dunk down yapsaw earth spread gone but secret still strong back towards outposts but there's the horn straight on to grimstroke a call from sableye keeps sableye uh Neko alive trying to turn with a dark portrait matuma man still very, very tanky, even with a spirit vessel up on him. Now broken, though, and he's going to get dunked down. Killed off. Chicken fighters find the big kill they needed. No Aegis, no cheese, and now no buyback. Jump in from Charlie, searing chains towards this Phoenix. Supernova level three, though, with a Will-O-Wisp. Could be a good combo to fight around Nisha. They get the Abyssal Blade on to Charlie. Sunray and kill him off. Now, where's the Supernova? Zeiss still has it, but he's been annihilated. The dunk down, Sable gets the kill, but the only one still standing in this fight is the Morphling for Super. Supreme. But he's alone. Yeah, they break him Ryback's up. Ryback's coming out. Era Charlie back into the fight. The life trade to heal Supreme. Stop, stop, stop. Strength both there. And Nisha, he cannot battle any further. They need more here, Team Secret. The numbers advantage has swung the other way through these buybacks. Roll not connecting from Yapsaw. Supreme still fighting the life train from Era, keeping him up and running. Oh, the Morphling's about to fall, though. Another cross spray. Nisha looking for it. The roll connecting. He's and a blinding light life back life with a Bristle Blade up. He finally off. dies. Supreme gone. And they've caught Era as well. The diebacks from Chicken Fighters. And bristle back illusion with the ink swell on it. Look at how speedy it is. 467 move speed. Hello, Charlie. And with a haunt. Where's the real Spectre gone? Into the fountain. They're chasing down Charlie. BKB up. Remnant ready now. Where's he going to go, though? He can slide chains. He can Remnant. Yule's up into the air is good from Puppy. And they can chase down the evasion of Charlie. But he's silenced up and doesn't even get the jump off. Elusive hero. Be damned. Game two here, 23 to 23 with a 23k lead. And there's a nice soul blind with a silence and a couple of illusions created. In comes Supreme, the Morphling's BKB, paying off with the Supernova. They catch up the Spectre, they're focusing it down by the disarm. Nisha disarm. keeping them alive, and out comes the Man full HP again. Beautifully That's done by Zai, and GG's cold. That was their one chance, but that Supernova for Supernova, Arena of Blood, Queen of Pain with all that magic nuke damage you were talking about. As mid lane, Nisha has a fairy fire. The TP from Suneko, fairy fire buys a bit of space, but the shadow strike, the long range fire throw from Supreme. Queen of Pain should die. Oh, Supreme still drops as Yapsaw finds one and looks for the second. Suneko trying to deny himself to the neutrals, and he gets it. 10 minute runes, bounties. 
Not too far away. Queen of Pain forced to kill off the Phantoms Embrace and blink out of the cogs. A good sonic wave zaps down Yapsor. As the bounties will be secured down south, the song going to catch the Grimstroke on the way out. So Puppy, a bonus kill. It looks like the Juggernaut is fine to walk it off, but three versus one. Puppy doesn't stand a chance. Zai going to TP up to Outpost. As Yapsor starting things off onto the Mars. I don't even know if they need Zai. These two supports, Puppy and Yapsor, from lane to lane, just finding kills. Yeah, with, with healing ward. Like, how do you kill the Alk and the Juggernaut? Because Matuma Man's getting pretty strong himself. Not too far behind the Naga Sire and only about a thousand net worth difference. And I'm just watching Matu and the moves he's making. He is just playing behind tier twos. He is playing all the way across on this side of the map, cutting waves. No one can really stop his stun TP. As a hook shot into mid, again, they're catching Mars. Sableite is meant to be your initiation hero for chicken fighters, but every time Secret see him on the map, they pick him off. So Blink Dagger yet again delayed. That's why you need to have something that pierces spell immunity that can stop a TP. Otherwise, Juggernaut is just gonna have a free time. And he's farming. Look at the item build he's going for. Mask of Madness, Deso. They wanna end this game. Like, the plan for, for Team Secret is pretty simple here. We're gonna push some towers now. We have a lot of tower damage, a lot of sustain with the healing ward. We're gonna get the Roche and just end the game from there. Poppy, have... still deep in behind enemy lines. They've killed off Eris Phoenix, who maybe could have dived away from danger. Seneco wants to sprout, catching Puppy with the ensnare as well. Oh, has a quelling blade and now the Mars ulti, but Nisha just bashing away at these dire heroes. Sableye down to Yapsor's battery assault. Nisha back up into the high ground to deal with Charlie. And they've got themselves a Naga Siren, but a good man to away from the Omni Slash of Matuma Man gets Charlie back into his base. He wants Abyssal Blade Battle Fury. Cut through the trees, get out of Sprout. Well, the hell not? Sans onto Queen of Pain. The chain stuns are there. The soul bind is perfect as well. Mars gets caught up in it, even with the Arena of Blood down. There's nothing that chicken fighters can do. They have run out of steam. It's up to Roche for you. They should not try to chase this Nature's Prophet. He's going to TP out. Clockwork Cook shot, not in range. There oh, it is, is now. Long range. Yaps all get there to help out Zai find a kill. While look at Matu Nisha with one melee creep. They're on the top of the high ground. Battering away at tier three. Oh yeah, this is going to be what Alchemist's Alchemist's uh, tenth win of the group stage. So it's going to be twelve games, ten wins and two losses. It looks like if it continues this way, because Secret are dominating. Cancel out the Sunray from Era. They do have a pretty decent team fight combo here, but Poppy's in the back line, stopping the Mars initiation. The Supernova is not used. Supreme is jumping towards the Grim Stroke, but even with that Sonic Wave, he's being obliterated. Now the Supernova comes, but the right click's arriving. Sprout him up, but it's not enough. So Nako trapped in his own base, buyback from Eros Phoenix, but Nisha is unstoppable. The big bad purple boy whacking people into the ground. Sunray down, but the Aegis is there. Second life for the Alchemist. As the building's being focused and Mars dead yet again. They buy back on a couple of hero chicken fighters and they die forward. Yapsor defensive hook shot as Nisha takes down the ranged racks for a full lane. Secure it up, secret. 23 minutes in. Well, I wanted to look at gold per minute, 913 on Nisha, closing in on that 1,000. And buyback wise, none for the dire team as they close the gap on Charlie. Manta with the mirror image, jump out of the cogs to sprout and dodge away. But the Abyssal Blade, Nisha closes the gap yet again. And they dive towards the back to kill off the Queen of Pain. It's just too much damage on the buildings. They can't take a fight right now. They have no ultis and Team Secret will go for tier four towers. Just end this one. Sableite with the Arena of Blood, but the Soulbind is immediate. Even with the Song of the Sire and Supernova, they were still being focused down here. Sableite gone, Mars dead. The Supernova still falling out. The song ends. And chicken fighters, dearie, dearie me, chicken chasers. Where do the chickens run? GG is called. And game three goes to Team Secret. A two to one victory, continuing their streak. Now sitting at four and zero.